you. Welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for April 8th, 2024. The character of the Ironclad and the modifier star draft draft the custom starting deck of cards. Certain future, the map contain, contains only one path, and deadly events, question mark rooms can now contain leads, but are also more likely to contain treasure rooms. I am happy to see that even though it's a certain future run, there are some people who got a good score. Anti with 1153, that's great. Vorpal with 1057, not bad either. The fact that they're not a multiple of uh, 25 apart means that there is some RNG difference, which always surprises me in a certain future, but I guess a lot depends on also what you'll draft. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, spoiler alert, yesterday pretty much everybody died and the only person who was able to survive was Quirkus after five attempts. So uh, much harder than today. Anyway, alright, so with the Ironclad, I am inclined to go for a strength deck. So Inflame is interesting. Headbutt would be a safe attack choice. Um, let me start with the Inflame. It's also uncommon. Warcry, Clash, or Wild Strike. Should I make this? Uh, if I have a Rage, then Clash would be great. I'm not a huge fan of the other two. Let me risk the Clash. Oof, I don't know if I'm going to go for two clashes. There's no reason not to go for collector bonuses, though. You know what? Let's risk it. Okay, yeah, three clashes. Why not? Shragadov, Uppercut, and Trench. I think one defensive card with Shragadov is good. Inflame makes the pummel a little better, but let's take the Thunderclap. Uh, all right, a second Inflame. Ooh, this is becoming... This is looking like a very weird deck. Pummel Strike, Uppercut, Clothesline. The Uppercut might be good for the weakness that it applies. Let's take that. And Dropkick now that I have vulnerability with the Uppercut and Thunderclap. Okay. Body Slam. Anger is fine. Another head... Oh, wait. Is that another headbutt or my first headbutt? Oh, it'll be my first headbutt. Heavy Blade, I don't think I'll be, will be that useful. Let's take that. And there is the Rage. I think I have to take that, even though I would like to play, pick up a fifth, uh, a fourth Clash. Let's take the Rage. That will be necessary for my defense. And then Dropkick is good. Shockwave would apply Vulnerability. Okay. And then last but not least, let's take another Anger. All right. This is basically defensively. I just have the Rage and the Shrug it off, right? Pretty much it. Shockwave applies weakness, so that helps. The rest is just offense. And a bunch of clashes. Let's see if I can make this work. I don't usually go for a clash deck, but it can be fun. So the two early question mark rooms are guaranteed not to give me an elite. There is one question mark later, later on that might give me elite, and there's also a shop. All right, yeah. Um, so here, I think I'll start off with Inflame. Sh oh, I should have done Shockwave Dropkick first, because now I can't afford the Dropkick. It's fine. Anger is enough to kill you, and I can clash the backliner. And then here, a dropkick is enough to kill. Who's my final boss, by the way? It is the Guardian. All right, so I uh, I will need some block cards for the Guardian. Warcry Perfect. That's right. Spot weakness is not a bad idea to go for a strength deck. Here, I'll lose gold for HP. And here, I'll upgrade a Headbutt and Thunderclap. That's not a bad thing to have upgraded. Here, I got the Lice. Uh, let's do Spot Weakness, Thunderclap, and then Clash kills the Backliner. Uh, and I can Headbutt this one, too. All right, Thunderclap, Dual Wheel, Flame Barrier. I, mm, I think I'll take the Flame Barrier just because I have to fight the um, the Guardian at the end. Otherwise, I would have taken the attack card there. Uh, here, I could take Uppercut. Bloodletting is interesting, too. I don't think it's very difficult with certain future to get um, to get enough Relics for I Like Shiny, so I don't think I'll force Relics. Yeah, let me take the Uppercut and Bloodletting. Do I want Rupture? So right now, it's just the Bloodletting that would deal damage back to me. Mm, yeah, I don't think I'll take the Rupture, although it... Okay, I misclicked and I don't want to reload. Let's risk it. I was going to say, although if I get some good curses, Rupture might be useful. Let's take it. All right, got the sentries here. This is going to be tough, right? Um, well, let's give it a try. So um, I'm going to... Let me do Bloodletting first. So then I want to do Thunderclap, Uppercut, and then the Clashes. That might be enough. I wonder if I should also drink the Flex Potion. Uh, let's risk it. Yeah, let's drink the Flex Potion. Then I'll do Thunderclap to apply Vulnerability to all. Or, um, or I can apply Vulnerability with the Uppercut immediately. Yeah, let's do Uppercut first. Okay. Then do Thunderclap. And then, yeah, this is uh, a little bit overkill, but I can also... Oh, no, the back line is not vulnerable, so I can't kill. But I am close. I don't need much. Mm -hmm. And then here, Shockwave applies Weakness. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do, unfortunately. Even with weakness, I'll still take damage, right? There's no way I can deal 7 plus um, 25. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I could do Uppercut Headbutt, but then I won't be able to play the Clash. That's a bummer. In that case, let's do Shockwave and Flame. And then I can do Clash to kill this one. And unfortunately, I'm taking 6 damage. Yeah, that's a bummer. Maybe, I don't think it would have helped if I saved the uh, Fear Potion for the... Or the, uh, the Vulnerability. Wait, uh, sorry, the Steroid Potion. I don't think it would have helped if I saved it for this turn, but... Yeah, I needed the Rage and the Shrug of... If I had this hand, I would have been able to um, to fully defend. But yeah, that's fine. All right, here I can kill. Okay. 
Missed the perfect here. We got Frozen Egg, one of the added power card and two deck upgraded, a fire potion, and another thunderclap or another headbutt. I am thinking I should sort of do Z. I'm thinking of taking another thunderclap just because I have one of each, right? Yeah, let's take another thunderclap. Uh, just because um, I do have the dropkick, so having more vulnerability is nice. Um, should I upgrade the rupture? Not. I'm not sure if that's super necessary. I think upgrading the flame might be better, and then also upgrading the rage. I definitely have to do that before the um, before the boss fight. Mm -hmm. All right, got the cultist here. Let's do rupture and flame, rage and thunderclap. Mm -hmm. All right, the six incoming here. I can do spot weakness, shockwave, and then clash. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here I can do drop kick, and that's enough to kill. Good. Got another fire potion, perfect the strike dual wield heavy blade. It's a little expensive. I could take dual wield and dual wield the clash if I get it in the right turn. We got the boot one of deal four less unlocked attack damage, increase it to five. Okay. And then here I think I'll upgrade the rage next. Maybe even dual wield after that. That might be interesting. I could dual wield the drop kick too. Got the acid slime. I could also dual wield in flame if I really want to. Yeah, why not? Let's dual wield the inflame. Mm hmm. All right. And then, I'll, unfortunately, I'll be weakened next turn, but still not being attacked. That's good. Uh, let's do Uppercut, Anger, then we will transform at 33. Uh, this is too much, uh, so I think I'll just wait. Mm -hmm. And then 11, I can do... Um, let's do Thunderclap, Dropkick. Okay. And then Headbutt, probably the Thunderclap for AoE damage. And let's also do Inflame. I should have done Inflame at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then here, the Thunderclap is enough to kill. Good. All right, Hemokinesis Evolve Dropkick. Because I have the Rupture, Hemokinesis is interesting, but I also have two Dropkicks already, so let's take the third one. Mm -hmm. And here I got the Slaver. Uh, let's do Rage, Spot Weakness, and Flame Barrier. Actually, yeah, Flame Barrier is fine. I could have done Shrug it up, but this is fine too. Mm -hmm. Another 12. Um, I can play everything here, right? Thunderclap, Clash, the Angers, and then that's enough to kill. Beautiful. Got a Fear Potion, Clothline, Demon Form, Body Slime. Ooh, Demon Form. Should I take it and get Overkill and then remove it on Act 3? That is definitely an option. You know what? I'm going to risk it. Yeah, let's take it. It's pre-upgraded too, thanks to the Frozen Egg. Um, This might be the right fight, especially against the Laos. The problem is I don't have a lot of block. But you know what? Let me try that. Uh, let's do. Let's just do Demon Form here. And then I can do Rage and Clash. So I'll take a little bit of damage, but I think... I mean, if I can get Overkill out of the way early, that would be great. Okay, so I can't do Thunderclap. Let's do Inflame Shockwave. Okay, and then Anger. Okay. Don't need to do Bloodletting, really. All right, so here I can do... Um, I don't think I need to deal with the Rupture, although I could. Uh, let's do Spot Weakness. And then... Uh, yeah, let's deal with the Rupture. Why not? Okay. That way I'll gain strength even faster. I'm a little worried that I'm taking damage. Um, all right, let's do drop kick, shrug it off to be fully defended, and now I'm just waiting and hoping I don't take too much damage. So I think I'll speed this up. I'll be back when I'm ready to deal more than 100. How much is this up now? 24. Yeah, I'm still a little ways away. Also, this one applies weakness all the time, which is going to be annoying. But yeah, I'll speed this up when I'm right back. I lost a little bit more damage than I'd like, but here I can deal exactly 100 damage and get overkill out of the way. I really hope the low HP is not going to harm me later. Iron Wave, Wildstruck, Bloodletting. Actually, Iron Wave is a good idea because it won't interfere with the Clash. Again, here I will try to... Okay, it'll be kind of funny if I die here, <laughs> which I would desperately like to avoid. Um, let's do Shrug it off, see what that gives me. Okay. All right, good. I can actually do Bloodletting and Flame. Then dual wield the clashes, and I think that should be enough to kill, right? So, yeah, one you, one you, and one you. Okay, uh, back to 10 HP, Heavy Blade Berserk, or Armaments. I will try to go for Popper. I think Armaments is a safe choice, even though it is a skill. And as much as I like to heal, I think I'll risk... Um, I will try to perfect the next fight. So let me upgrade either Armaments or Shockwave or Flame Bear. Lots of good options here. Let's upgrade the Shockwave. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, starting off with the Guardian. Um, I would like... Well, let's definitely do the Inflame. And then I think I'll upgrade the Clash because I can do... Uh, wait, so this is... I forced the transformation. Is that too early? I might have trouble defending, but let's risk it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So nine incoming. Yeah, this is a problem, right? Although 
Whenever you play an attack, will, will this be enough? If I do something like a headbutt, uh, what, a drop kick? No. Um, wait, this will draw a card, right? Yeah, so let's let's do headbutt first. Uh, a drop kick. Or another rage. Another rage would be better. Okay. Then play thunderclap. Then drop kick. Then play one more rage. And then anger would give me enough block. Good. Actually, I guess without the extra rage, I would have been fine too. And here I need the flame barrier, and even that alone is not enough. I also have to do, um, I have to do the shrug it off as well, which will actually allow me to play one extra card. Although I don't think that will be the anger. All right, I still have two fire potions, which should help me. All right, twenty incoming. There's shockwave. I might actually have to use two fire potions here. Um, I could do demon form next turn. I will not be able to defend though. That might be a problem. How do I do this? Um, I need the weakness. Even with the weakness, the Iron Wave alone is not going to be enough. Hmm. I don't think there's anything I can do to draw more things, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything. What if I do... Yeah, no, the uppercut is not going to help me. Can I... I... There's nothing I can do to defend here, right? Nothing I can do against 12. So, yeah, fine. Let me throw the Fire Potions here and then just play the... Um, play the Demon Form. Just delay. But, yeah, there's nothing I can do this turn, right? Because I have... Nine incoming, even with weakness, that would have been less. Um, I guess I can do Iron Wave, but that also makes me take damage. Oh boy, let's do Spot Weakness, and then Uppercut will bring it down. Yeah, I have to... Wait, if I do Iron Wave, I will take three damage, so I'll only have two block, plus nine is seven. Uh, if I do Uppercut, I'll take three damage, and so, so it's nine. Seven versus nine. Let's do Iron Wave then. Okay. Yeah, now I'm actually a little worried about not dying or not surviving if I don't draw the right things. Okay, luckily I did get the um, flame berry with the armaments. So let's do that. Okay, and then I can play one clash as well. All right. Mm -hmm. And then here I have twenty incoming. Let's do uppercut, drop kick, and that's enough to kill. Yeah, it was just one turn I wasn't able to defend, but I need to get real lucky to defend that one. There is a corruption here which is pre-upgraded. It's risky because I would have to remove two cards to go for Popper. But if I get Dead Branch, it would make my life so much easier. Actually, I don't feel like I need it. Let's try to go for Popper. Let's skip this one. And then here, Runic Tomb. Right now, I just have the, um, what do you call it? Where's the card? The Bloodletting. That would trigger Runic Cube. I'm not sure I need the others that badly. Yeah, yeah. Let's take the Runic Cube. Whenever you lose HP, draw one card. That might be better. And hopefully, I can pick up. Actually, I can't do Offering, right? Let's see. I guess I guess a pain would be ideal. Uh, the pain curse or even the regret curse. All right. Uh, one elite and one shop as always. Three question mark rooms too. Hopefully I'll get one elite out of the question mark rooms. Should I do demon form here? Make my life a little easier. Let's do demon form. Okay. No need to play anger. I'll take 10 damage here, but hopefully the demon form will come in handy later on. Okay. So here let's do rage um, armaments. The actually I can't. I can only play one attack, right? One the anger. So maybe I'll do actually here. Let's do armaments. The anger. Um, or the spot weakness, doesn't matter really. Yeah, let's do spot weakness, gain strength, and then do anger. Didn't even break through the block, that anger. Okay. Another 12. Let's do thunderclap, dropkick. All right. Headbutt the... Uh, let's do flame barrier, because I feel like I will get attacked next turn. And then, actually, I can kill here. Especially with the extra strength I had, right? We got a dex potion, warcry, clothesline, iron wave. Let's take a second iron wave. Mm -hmm. I got the chosen. Um, let's duplicate the clash. Uh, then do Shockwave and play the Clashes and along with the Anger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here I can do Dropkick for free. I should have considered headbutting the Dropkick. Uh, let's do Inflame, Rupture, Armaments, the Clash, and then play that. Mm -hmm. And then I just need 10 damage, which seems very doable with a Dropkick. Good. Got a Fear Potion, another Fear Potion, I should say. Uh, Warcry, Heavy Blade, or Pummel Strike. Let's take the Warcry. That would allow me to put something back, in case I need to play the Clash and need to put something back. Um, here, not a huge fan. Let's uh, dual wield the Thunderclap and then play two Thunderclaps. That way, next turn, the enemy will be vulnerable as well. Mm -hmm. Hoping for a Dropkick there. 18. All right, there's another Dropkick here. I should have done Flame first. Then Dropkick. And uh, there's a Rage a little too late. Let me see if I get... If I can get something better, I'd love to play both of them. Let's do the Iron Wave though here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm taking some damage here. Okay. And then here, let's do Shrug it off. See what that gives me. Okay. Rupture Bloodletting. And then I can do uh, Spot Weakness ruins it a little bit. Uh, anger kills you. Clash kills you. 
And then I can do Uppercut and Anger to kill this one as well. Good. Got a Power Potion. I'll take it over one of the Fear Potions. I don't think I need two. Clothesline and Trench Body Slam. I don't have enough block for Body Slam to be worth it. Let's take the Clothesline, which would be a little better if I had more... Um, more energy, um, which I don't. I'm trying to think if I can get combo if I just duplicate a bunch of drop kicks, which might be worth a try. So I'm willing to lose a little bit of HP to try to make that work. So basically, I need to dual wield drop kicks. I just don't have a lot of ways to exhaust other cards, though, right? That's a little annoying. Let's do Rupture, Thunderclap, and um, let me put the uh, Flame Barrier back. Although I still can't do the... Uh, I guess I can do Bloodletting to gain strength. Oh, right, and I drew another card. Here, let's do Flame Barrier and then Clash. Come. Mm -hmm. All right, not being attacked here. Yeah, unfortunately, I would need to draw the Dual Wheel with the Dropkicks, and they are already all in my discard pile. So, yeah, maybe um, it might be a little bit of a long stretch to try to go for a combo here. Definitely possible, but my deck would have to be much thinner for it to work. All right, 12 incoming. Let's do Shockwave, Thunderclap. Uh, yeah, let's do Shockwave, then Clash, Thunderclap to kill, and then Anger. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, I don't think I need the Iron Wave. Let's arm it, or the, the uh, Demon Form, I mean. Let's Iron Wave, or upgrade the Iron Waves, and then kill with that. Right. Okay. All right, Carnage, Seeing Red, Body Slam. Carnage is nice. It exhausts if I don't need it. Seeing Red would give me extra energy, and I feel like at this moment I do need extra energy. Uh, here I could get Necronomic Curse, which makes me feel worried about not having taken the Carnage. No, I got Neuro's Codex. At the end of your turn, you may shuffle one of three random cards into your draw pile. That might actually help get some defensive cards into my deck, which is somewhat lacking them at the moment. I think I'll upgrade the... Whoops, almost misclick there. Upgrade the Armaments first. That will upgrade everything else in my hand. Mm -hmm. Here I got the Gremlin Leader. Uh, who is not attacking me, that's good. Unfortunately, I can't do the Demon Form. Somebody was asking me recently why I don't like Demon Form, and this is why, right? Because I would have to sacrifice a perfect... Although, hang on. Can I actually kill? Uh, because if I can't, I'm going to sacrifice the perfect either way. Let me see. So, yeah, I can't deal enough damage to the Mad Gremlin. Unless I do Uppercut and Thunderclap, and then this is not enough to kill this one. Let me see if the Power Potion gives me something amazing. Inflame, Juggernaut, Fire Breathing. Juggernaut is not going to help. Inflame might. So now this is 9... With vulnerability, it'll be 15 plus 6. That's 21. Really close, but not quite enough. What if I... Okay, I'm, if I'm going to throw this, then I can do a Thunderclap and then another Thunderclap. Yeah, I needed to throw the vulnerability potion. Otherwise, I would not have been able to kill the both minions. Power Through is a great defensive card. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I was hoping for from Neo's Codex. Um, here, let's do Bloodletting. Okay. Then um, I'm not sure if I should deal with the Anger. Um, no, I think I can do Uppercut, Clothesline, and Anger. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, let's deal with the Anger. Why not? So I'll do Dual Wield, the Anger, then Uppercut, Clothesline, and Double Anger. Okay. Um, Exhume. What do I have? Exhume Tier Warcry. I don't think it's necessary at the moment. I can I can skip this one. All right. So here, the Backliner is vulnerable, which is good. Let's do Seeing Red, Rage, Dropkick. Okay, I was hoping for something better. Shragadov gives me Iron Wave. That means it might be... Oh, right, and I can't do both Power Through and Clash. Um, yeah, this means I'm guaranteed to be attacked next turn, which is unfortunate. There's an Offering. That might help if I can draw it next turn. Okay. All right, 27. Didn't draw the Offering. Can I headbutt anything? No, there's... Well, actually, there's no Vulnerability anymore, right? So I think I'm going to take a lot of damage here, which is a shame. Uh, let's upgrade everything. And then Headbutt is not even enough to kill this one. I have to do Headbutt. Uh, let's bring back the uh, Shockwave, I guess. And then Dropkick. Yeah, there's nothing I could have done to fully defend here. Which is a shame. If I had drawn that Offering, that might have provided me some help. Especially with the Runic Cube, right? Alright, so here I'll do... No one is attacking me, so um, I don't have Vulnerability either. No, I have Shockwave. Let's do Shockwave, then Dropkick. Then um, let's do the Offering. I can do Immolate... And that is enough to kill. Yeah, bummer. Didn't perfect this one. I got Sundial every three times to shuffle draw power. Again, two extra energy. Whirlwind, True Grid, or Pummel Strike. Didn't I? I think I was offered a Pummel Strike. I never took it. Yeah, so maybe True Grid is not a bad idea, especially if I can get it upgraded here, just so I can get rid of statuses and curses and other junk. Okay. All right. Here I got self me Clay. Whenever you lose HP, gain three block next turn. Okay. Here I got Sneko. Um, you know what? Why not? Let's do Demon Form, then Warcry. And I can play... Let's put the Rage back. I can play the Clash here. Okay. Shockwave Impervious is actually pretty good here. Mm -hmm. 
All right, 15 incoming. Let's do rage. Ugh. Um, I guess I'll do bloodletting to see what I draw. All right, there's a free dropkick. That's nice. And then I can do two clashes. That gives me enough block as well. Okay. Sword boomerang, twin strike. I'm not just a huge fan of any. Actually, sword boomerang might have been nice with the extra strength I'll get. Uh, here, let's do inflame, spot weakness, a very cheap clothesline, and then might as well play rupture. Okay. Another impervious, sure. Okay. 16. Didn't draw those imperviouses yet. Let's do seeing red, shrug it off, and then I could do uppercut for some weakness. Uh, okay. Oh, the enemy's already weakened. I might have been able to just kill there. Yeah, that's a bummer. I think I could have been able to kill if I just, instead of the shrug it off, played another attack card. All right, that's fine. I should be able to kill here. Okay. All right, burning pack, twin striker, combust. Uh, I don't... Actually, combust will trigger the runic cube, so that's basically extra free card drive return. Not a bad idea, especially with the rupture. I'm actually sort of lucky this is not an elite fight, because I think I would have had a lot of trouble in an elite fight at the moment. Um, let's do just Rage, Uppercut, and Anger. Let us let me put the other Uppercut back. Or should I do... Yeah, let's put the other Uppercut back. Then do Rage, Uppercut, and Anger. Okay. That way I'm fully defended. I don't think I'll need any of these. Hmm. Alright, six incoming. There's Thunderclap and Dropkick for... Let me actually do Spot Weakness first, then Dropkick. Okay. And then Iron Wave is enough to kill this one. Good. Mm -hmm. Feel No Pain might be better with all the days that I'll get into my deck. And here another 10. I have the armaments, and I can do Inflame and Iron Wave, and then play the Clash as well. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I can take Havoc here, sure. 27. Uh, this might be a problem. Um, I can't apply Weakness without not being able to play the Flame Barrier. 12 plus 8 is 20. Uh, let me hope... I, I think I'll drink the Dex Potion, then hope that Havoc plays something amazing. That is a combust. That is sort of the opposite of amazing. Because I will die here. Wow, I have to reload this one. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to survive this. Because I just had so little HP. Maybe what I'll do is I'll target the backliner instead of targeting the frontliner. So let me drink the dex potion right away. Because I feel like I need it anyway. And then let's put the... Yeah, I still think I'll do everything this way. Wait, the same way. But let's target the backliner this time. Okay. And then here, let's take the Havoc. Okay. All right, six incoming. I do have spot weakness, thunderclap, then drop kick, and then iron wave. Okay. And then feel no pain is still pretty good. I haven't dealt any damage to the cultist, and I know the backline attacks for two turns in a row, right? So there's not much I can do about that. Uh, let's do armaments. See what the havoc plays. That is a drop kick. Okay. Then inflame. Actually, 15. Yeah, I think I'm dead here. 24 plus 13. No, I got some block with the Iron Wave, right? Still going to target the Backliner. And actually, it's enough to kill. Okay, good. So that way, I'm still fully defended. Let's take the Pummel. Mm -hmm. And then 12 incoming Pummel is quite a bit of damage, especially with Shockwave. Okay, yeah. Just needed to reload to survive this one. We got an Ancient Potion, a Rampage, and Trench, or Server Soul. Let's take the Server Soul. That will also get rid of Junk. And then three Cultists here. Again, yeah, I already fought three cultists. Uh, let's do Seeing Red. I'm trying to think. Uh, I guess I'll do Demon Form. So playing that Seeing Red was not really necessary. Iron Wave is fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, 18 incoming. It's a little annoying to have this little HP. Beam. I can weaken him down to 12. Combust will kill me in two turns, though. So I have to be careful. But if I do Shockwave, then Combust, I can play the Clash and Anger. Okay, this is actually really dangerous because I only have one more turn after this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically I have to kill this turn, right? Wait, does it... Um, yeah, it deal it makes me lose damage first before dealing damage to others. So basically I, have just, I just have to kill everybody here, which looks like a challenge. Uh, let me dual wield the dropkick. Okay, let's do dropkick one and two. And then I can't do the Clash without playing Rupture and Flame, and then the Clash alone will be enough. So let's do Thunderclap. Okay. And then... Yeah, this is only 15, right? There's no way I can deal 24. Unless I can't do Bloodletting, I'll die. Um, This is 16. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. All right, uh, let me reload this one and I guess not play the, uh, the Combust. That will give me 2 HP to work with, and that might be enough. So let's just do Demon Form, nothing else. Maybe the other thing is also just not to play the Demon Form. I think I took Iron Wave here, right? 
Yeah, this is still going to be tough. All right, I have to do Shockwave and just not do Combust, right? Oh, but that means if I don't do Combust, I won't be able to play the Clash. So I'm basically saving 1 HP, but also not dealing like 20-something damage. Okay. All right, so there's a drop kick, there's the dual wield. So I'm still going to dual wield the drop kick. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I can survive this one. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm sort of glad I'm not able to survive this one, mostly because I do want to really play this. And I think the key is the clash deck is fun, but only if I keep the deck thin. So I think I'm going to try this one more time and let's kill myself with the bloodletting. Uh, try this one more time and just keep a thin deck. Let's try this. And then I still do a clash tag, but keep it thin. I did get overkill. I got, um, oh, no elites and no per no bosses. Yeah, fine, fine. Let's try this one more time. And I'm going to keep the deck as thin as possible and basically just do rage and clashes. That's that's going to be the goal. And I hope that will give me a good score. So I missed the Instigate the modifier, but um, if I can perfect things, it'll be fine. So yeah, I'll speed this up. I think I'll try to do, let me go through the card selection one more time just to make sure I get the same thing. Inflame is still pretty good. There's the first clash, the second clash, the third clash. And then here, shrug it off for one defensive card, Thunderclap, another Inflame, or did I take something else last time? No, I think I took another Inflame. Here I took another Uppercut, Dropkick. Actually, I could do, instead of a Clash deck, I could do a Dropkick deck. Let's do Anger here, Headbutt, another, cl no, I think here I took Rage. I think it's important to have one Rage at least. Another Dropkick, and then Shockwave as well as Anger, or Seeing Red. Seeing Red might be better. Okay, so I made a slight change with, I think, the Seeing Red. Other than that, it's the same way, and I think basically I'll just keep dual cast, uh, sorry, dual wield, that's the card I'll take, and um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I will try to get a collector most on the Clash, Inflame, Dropkick, and Thunderclap, and that's pretty much it. So the rest, the rest I think I'll, I'll reject. So yeah, I'll speed this up, I'll be back at the place where I died, which is uh, somewhere on Act 2. Okay, so I'm back. I'm doing much better. I didn't uh, keep the deck as thin as I'd like, but it's still pretty thin. I, I rejected a bunch of cards, and yeah, mostly I'm relying on the drop kicks and the um, and the clashes. Now the problem is I wasn't able to still perfect the boss, but I did perfect the last elite on this act, so um, that was somewhat useful. Um, now in the past I was dual in the drop kick, but then I currently don't have any way to apply vulnerability, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, what should I do instead? Yeah, let's just put the drop kick back, then do uppercut, drop kick, and then another drop kick. And then, yeah, I can war cry the dual wheel to play the clash. Okay, that almost kills one of them. And then here, let's take the iron wave. All right. Hmm. At least I have a little bit more HP, so I have somewhat of a buffer. Um, here, let's do seeing red bloodletting, and then I think I'll dual wield the thunderclap, and why not dual wield the uh, iron, uh, the inflame as well? Let's play a few of those. One Thunderclap kills the Backliner. Here, let's do two Inflames and then two Thunderclaps. Okay. okay. Uh, corruption would be great, actually. Although, it might be... Well, I don't think I'll get combo out of it because I don't have that many skills in, in my deck. Um, here, let's definitely do Rage. Um, I think Armaments is not that useful. It does upgrade other stuff. Uh, no, let's instead do Thunderclap and then Iron Wave 1. Almost enough to kill the Backliner, right? And then Iron Wave 2. 
Okay, I fully defend and I just need like a Thunderclap or something like that to kill next turn. Yeah, this one much easier than the previous round. I think just having too much junk in my deck does make my life a little harder. Alright, survive this one, Brutality, Iron Wave, or shrug it off. I still have that Demon Form, I have to remove that. Let's take another Iron Wave. I only have... Oh, I have two of them. Okay, I thought I only have one. Let's take a third one then. And then here, I think I first want to remove the Demon Form, because I already used it, and it's gonna, it's usually very hard to use anyway. In terms of cards, not a huge fan of any, so maybe I'll focus on Relics instead. Let's take the uh, Sling of Courage, Akabiko, or Blood Vile. Let's take the Sling of Courage, Sarge, Julie, come with two extra strength. And then do I want to buy a potion? I I guess the Still Chaos is not a bad idea. Let's take it over the Fire Potion. I might be more handy in trying to perfect something. Okay, and I'll save my gold for the next Axe Shop, which is guaranteed to happen anyway. All right, Shell Press and Fungi Beast. Let's do Seeing Red, War Cry. I would like to play the Clash. Um, yeah, and Rage uh, here. Let's do Rage, Clash, and Iron Wave. Okay. Still taking a little bit of damage. Actually, no, I'm not taking any damage at all, which is nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then 16. Let's do Shrug It Off, Bloodletting. All right, then Shock Wave. I can dual wield. Probably Anger at this point. Okay. Uh, then do Anger 1. Anger 2, break through the block, and then Thunderclap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably didn't need the Thunderclap because the enemies are going to be vulnerable for a while already anyway. Eight incoming. Uh, yeah, dual wield the dropkick. That's sort of... I should have considered armamenting that dropkick. Actually, not too late. Let's do it now. Then do dropkick one, two, and three. And I drew another one, which is great. And I can do seeing red to do something like inflame, headbutt, and doesn't matter what because I should be able to play... Anger to kill here. Good. Okay, got a speed push on Jonathan. I'll take Clothline, Fire Breathing, Headbutt. Again, I... How many Headbutts do I have? Just one. And I'm actually okay removing that too. So let's not take that. Okay. And then here, next upgrade. I think I can start upgrading the um, the drop kicks. No, let me upgrade the Inflames first. And then I can uh, start upgrading the drop kicks. Okay. All right, Champ. Um, I am start... Oh, I'm being attacked though. That's annoying. Let me... See what the power potion gives me. Oof. Well, I could dual wield the zero cost demon form. Should I deal with the brutality? Would give me a bunch of card draw with a runic cube, right? All right, all right. Uh, let's uh, let's take the brutality, and then um, I will. Let's do let's dual wield the drop kick, then do thunderclap, and then see what the distal chaos plays. So that's an Iron Wave, that's nice. Seeing Red and Headbutt. I can bring back another Iron Wave for some block, although I'm worried it won't be enough. Let's do Brutality, Inflame, then Dropkick 1, 2, and okay. I think if I do Armaments and um, Dropkick and then Iron Wave, that would allow me to be fully defended, and then I can also play the Clash. Okay, not a bad start. There's an Offering, that would be great. Mm -hmm. All right, extra card draw here. There is the offering. All right, what do I want to duplicate? Let's play Rage first. Offering will draw me four cards, right? So I can play it here. Okay. All right, I would like to deal with the drop kick again. So let's do Shockwave first, then Anger. Deal with the drop kick. Okay. Then play a few of those. All right, there's a Seeing Red, which is nice. Can I play the Clash? Yes, I think if I can get rid of the War Cry. Um, and I don't think I need Thunderclap, although I think Iron Wave might be more important next turn. So let's take the Iron, or put the Iron Wave back, and then do the two clashes, and then uppercut for... Actually, the enemies... Actually, if I play whatever attack I play, the enemy will transform next turn. So maybe I want to wait, and hope I can defend. Next turn I have Shrug it off and Iron Wave. I hope that will be enough. So let's not do any more attacks. And I can take an Impervious for next turn. That might be good too. Okay. Yeah, nine incoming. I don't think I, I don't think I even need the impervious. Uh, so let's do let's do the free drop kick. Let me do rage first. See what the war cry gives me. Okay, another drop kick. That's good. Let's put this back, and then bloodletting will draw me whatever anyway. Okay, and I can do shrug it off, sure. And then let's do the drop kicks. Unfortunately, I have to play the impervious if I want to play the clash. I got to deal with it a little too late. Let's deal with the clash, then do impervious, and then play all the clashes. Okay. And then Anger and Iron Wave. All right, that was a casually 94 block. Uh, I think I'll focus on the offense because I don't need much to kill here. So the enemy is transforming. I still have a turn of vulnerability. I can play two drop kicks. Okay. 
And then I can do the clashes as well, right? Beautiful. All right, perfect. This one, very happy with that. Got an attack potion, demon from corruption, brutality. I'll go for popper here, so let's skip. And then mark of pain, the wounds will be really annoying with the clashes, so I don't think I'll take that. Runic dome is fine, but too risky. I think I'll take the tiny house. I'm pick up, obtain one potion, gain 50 gold. Raise your max should be by five, obtain one card, and upgrade one random card. I got the dropkick upgrade, which is nice. An explosive potion and spot with the clothliner clash. I need one more clash for a collector bonus, right? Let's take it. Okay, don't know deck at the end, just like yesterday. Although yesterday I didn't even get close to it. Alright, so here are the Darklings. The problem is with the Darklings is I don't really deal damage equally. I oftentimes deal way too much damage on one enemy and not enough on the other. Let's put the Bloodletting back because I don't need it. I think I'll just do... Actually, I could have needed it. Um, let's do Iron Wave to defend a little. And then I'll do Clash. Okay. Uh, Battle Transic Zoom Emulate. Let's take the Emulate. That might be the OE damage card I need for this fight. Mm-hmm. All right, and there it is. I cannot dual wield it, unfortunately. Do I have vulnerability? I do not even. Uh, let's upgrade everything, then do bloodletting. All right, there's a dual wield. Uh, yeah, I think the best thing is to dual wield the emulate, right? Okay, that will allow me to kill. Good. All right, uh, Dark Embrace, Havoc, Shrug it off. I don't uh, exhaust enough for Dark Embrace. I think I'll take the upgraded Shrug it off instead. I would like to get to at least 35 cards. That would, that would be nice. Um, here, let's see what the Shragadov gives me. Iron Wave allows me to be fully defended. Uh, fine, let's do Iron Wave, and then I'll do Dropkick and Clash. I could have also done Uppercut, then Dropkick, but this is fine. Don't think I need any of those. Mm -hmm. Another 18. Uh, dual wield what? Iron Wave, I guess? Let's do that. Mm -hmm. And then I can do uh, Iron Waves and Anger. That allows me to not take too much damage. Uh, power throw might be good too, although I won't be able to play it with the Clash. 16. Uh, there is a Bloodletting Shrug It Off, Thunderclap, Dropkick. Okay. Oh, um, got the Inflame a little too late. I can Inflame the Clash still. And is that going to be enough? Yes, it is if I get rid of whatever I draw here. Yeah. Okay. I got an elixir potion, which I don't think I'll take. Intimidate, anger, wild strike. How many angers do I have? Just one. I think for the sake of keeping the deck thin. Actually, hang on. Let me see. So I have a collector bonus on the clash. I would like another drop kick. Um, maybe another dual wield. Definitely one more iron wave. And probably shrug it off. Yeah, I think I can safely skip this one. I was trying to think maybe I don't want to skip to get to 35 cards, but I think I'm okay skipping. And then here, let's see what I get offered here. Uh, Finesse Discovery Master of Strategy. Not a huge fan. Purity Jack of All Trades Blinds. Not a huge fan either. Here, definitely not going to take any of those. Here, maybe the Jack of All Trades might give me something good. And here, maybe the Finesse is extra card draw. But yeah, and that gets me to 32 cards, which is helpful. Here, unfortunately, I have to lose something. I can't lose the, the Clash. You know what? It's a shame that it only... Well, I guess I can lose one deal wield. I would like to keep... Can I get a Collectomus on the Inflame? I only have two. You know what? No, let's lose. It's also not upgraded, and I probably don't need a collect most on the Inflame. I'll need to see another two. Yeah. All right, so here, the Darklings again. Uh, let's do Armaments. Actually, let me draw something with Shrugged Off first, then do Armaments. All right, Seeing Red. I don't know what to deal with. I guess I'll deal with the Uppercut for more vulnerability. Mm -hmm. I don't think I need Limit Break. Let's do Feel No Pain, although I don't exhaust that many cards. All right, that's a lot of incoming. Jack of all trades gives me a finesse, which draws me a war cry, which I can use to dual wield the clash. Actually, that should deal a lot of damage or something. Um, let's put the iron wave back and then dual wield the clash. All right, and then this is twenty one, another twenty one, and then iron wave to kill the backliner, and then two more clashes here. Okay, impervious is good. Mm -hmm. All right. So here, not being attacked, I can do Thunderclap Dropkick. Okay. Another Thunderclap to kill this one. And then let's see if I can... Actually, I don't think what I would have to draw to deal this much damage. Let's just do Inflame and wait. Mm -hmm. Another Impervious is nice. Okay. I'm doing time-wise. 27 minutes, yeah, because I was narrating the first half of, of the game, right? So let's do Feel No Pain, Seeing Red, Bloodletting. And then I should be able to... Yes, let's do Dropkick. Clash is enough to kill the backliner, and then now this one is going to come back to life. Uh, this fight is annoying, especially if you don't have the emulate. Mm -hmm. Another eight. Uh, let's do rage, shockwave, dropkick. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I don't kill this one. Maybe I'll try to deal damage equally here by doing anger. Actually, this kills. Yeah, let's not let's not kill anything. Not yet. Whirlwind might be useful. Actually, I'm guaranteed to draw next turn, right? 
Although without extra energy, it's not that great. Um, let's do Rage Finesse. Mm -hmm. And then Whirlwind is actually not a bad amount of damage. It's enough to kill everything. Good, good. Got a Speed Potion, Jumping I'll take Dark Embrace, Triggered Pummel. Let's take the Pummel at Exhaust. Uh, this deals a one-time amount of damage. Got the Giant Head, not in the Koshmark Room. Haven't had seen a Koshmark Room Elite yet. Let's do Shrug it off first. Jack of all trades gives me Panacea. Fine. And then I don't even know if I need Seeing Red. Yeah, fine. Let's do it. Uh, seeing Red, Shock Wave, Iron Wave, and Anger. Come. Okay. Uh, Demon Form. I don't think I'll take it here. Hmm. All right. Nine incoming. Um, I can dual wield something. I just don't know what to dual wield. Uh, let me see what the Attack Potion gives me. Clash, Cleave, Perfected Strike. None of them are super useful, but let's take the Clash. Because then I can upgrade everything with the armaments. Play the Seeing Red, dual wield the Clash. And then I uh, still have to struggle with block, right? There's nothing I can do to block here. Uh, let me do the Clashes. And then um, bring back a dual wield, I guess. Yeah, I just uh, had a bad hand. There's nothing I could have done to be fully defended there. Okay. There's a dual wield, which I can use to deal with the dropkick, right? Then Rage Finesse. Mm -hmm. And then Shrug it off to be able to play the Clash. Okay, let's do the dropkicks first. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, I can do Inflame as well as play the three Clashes I got. Beautiful. That's actually a good amount of damage. Mm -hmm. Only need 72 in that with Vulnerability, although I'll be weak in this turn as well. Pummel is 28, which is not as much. Let's do Bloodletting first. And then Warcry, put one of the uppercut, uppercuts back. Another Warcry for the slow debuff. And then I'll do uppercut, pummel, and drop it for a kill. Good. Got meal ticket, whatever you enter, shop heal 15 HP, a fear in the bottle, which might surprisingly be useful. Feed fire, flex, twin strike. I think I'll skip all of these. Trying to get, keep the deck thin. All right, Spire Growth, who is attacking me on turn one. Shrug it off is almost enough. Uh, too bad. I mean, I could throw the vulnerability potion, but actually, can I get a vulnerability here? No, even if I get it, I won't have the energy to play it. Let's fully defend here and just play the anger. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I will keep this potion, although Dono Deca both have artifact, right? So that might be a problem. I need to draw the shockwave early or the uppercut. Uh, let's do shockwave. Okay. That's more turns of weakness. Mm -hmm. Here I get the hex. Okay. 12 incoming. Let's do seeing red bloodletting. See what that gives me. Dual wield. Probably dual wield the clash. Then do thunderclap and play all the clashes. Ooh, actually I'm taking 22 damage. I have to be a little careful, otherwise I might die. Or I might have to use the fair in the bottle. Hmm. Alright, so here there's a free dropkick again. Let me see what this gives me first. Thinking ahead. Alright, two dropkicks. Let's do dropkick one, dropkick two. Pummel is a good amount. Let's do inflame first. Then pummel. That's 28. And then I think I can kill with the Clash here fairly easily. Good. All right. Uh, power through Cleaver Sentinel. I think I'll skip. Although I do need to get to 35 cards. There's a shop coming up. Yeah, let's skip this one. I don't want to pick up junk. If I'm picking up cards, it should be good cards. Maybe I'll upgrade. I'll, I'll rest here just because I'm a little worried of having too little HP. Okay. And then here I got Toxic Egg. One of the added skill into your deck upgraded. Yeah, a little too late, but I'll take it. Another AoE fight. Of course, in the run when I don't have any AoE cards, I get tons of AoE fights. Um, finesse is fine. Let's grab the bloodletting with it. Then seeing reds twice for no good reason. And then, yeah, just play everything I have here. Um, bludgeon is interesting. Yeah, I would kill one of them probably. Mm -hmm. Good thing I rested in the last rest site. Alright, so here let's do, let's upgrade everything. Then do thunderclap, dropkick. A dropkick one, dropkick two. And then I have a dual wield that I won't be able to play it. Can I... Yeah, let's do let's do headbutt, um, and headbutt what headbutt a dropkick. Although I would need to make sure that next turn I can apply a vulnerability. There's another dropkick right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, seventeen. There is vulnerability with the thunderclap, so let's deal with the dropkick, do thunderclap, and then play the dropkicks. Mm -hmm. And then another dropkick here, and anger, and I should be able to kill. No, but I can't kill next turn. With any decent attack. Okay. Alright, yeah, that way I'm saving the fair in the bottle for possibly the boss fight, which might be a challenge. Okay. Battle Trans Perfect the Strike Dual Wield. There's Dual Wield number three, right? Let's take it and hope I can get a fourth one in the shop, maybe. Here I'm healing thanks to the um thanks to the meal ticket. Uh Ori is a good deal. I don't see any good cards here, so let's take the Ori up and pick up, choose an add five cards to your deck. 
Armaments, Bloodletting, Juggernaut. Not a huge fan. Uh, Fiendfire, Dual Wield. There's a Collector Monster and Dual Wield. Let's take that. Heavy Blade, Infernal Blade, Headbutt. Not a huge fan. Uh, Infernal Blade is pretty good, though. Uh, Pummel Strike, maybe here. Exhum Cleave, Infernal Blade. Let's take another Infernal Blade here. I already got 36 cards, so I don't need to pick up more cards, although I could remove a card I don't want. So Bloodletting gives me a card draw for free energy, so that might be useful. Let's take it. How many armaments do I have? Just one. Yeah, let's take the Bloodletting here. I think I'll skip. Pummel Strike would have been fine, but I think it's safe to skip. I could take the Oddly Smith Stone. Again, I don't think I need any of the cards. There's only... Actually, I do have two Warcrys. I might get a collect most on the Warcry then. Fine, let's take the Warcry here. And then I think I'll do a Potion... And card removal. Let's do the card removal. How many angers did I have? Just one, right? Yeah. Um, which of these cards do I like least? Um, probably the headbutt. I don't think it's super necessary. Yeah, it is upgraded. It was upgraded in an event. I didn't actually upgrade it. It got auto upgraded. Yeah, let's just remove it. All right. And then let's also grab a potion. Um, you want? Know I think I'll rest and won't need the uh, fear in the bottle. Let's instead take. Uh, yeah, why not the attack potion? I can dual wield it, hopefully, to be something better. Alright, so here, just because I don't have the fear in the bottle anymore, let's rest. And here I got the writing mask, so I could get a curse out of that, although I would also like to avoid that. Uh, let's duplicate the clash, and do thun uppercut, clash 1, clash 2. And you want to, I'll accept the 7 rather than risking taking a curse. Alright, 22. Here, I do have dual wield. Let's see what the blood then gives me first. Then seeing red finesse. Okay, war cry one. And then war cry two. All right, uh, uppercut would apply the weakness and I have the energy. So let me put back the anger, play the armaments, dual wield the clash, and then do uppercut, clash one, 16. It's still better than again risking a curse. Okay. okay. 21. All right, so here I have Inflame Seeing Red, then play the Dropkicks, one and two. Actually, I should dual wield the Dropkick first, all right? And then let's do Rage. Um, I would love to do Shockwave. Let's do uh, Dropkick first, then Bloodletting. See what that gives me. Shrug it off, and now I think I'm fully defended. One more Dropkick for good measure. And then I could do Pummel, although that's risky, and also doesn't deal as much damage as I'd like. So yeah, I think this is better. All right, another 11. Uh, let's see what the Shrugged Off gives me. That's a Jack of All Trades. This is a Headbutt. Uh, let's Headbutt the Dropkick because the enemy is vulnerable. Oh, I should have Headbutt the Upgrade Dropkick, of course. Play the Upgrade Dropkick, then Iron Wave 1. And is it risky? No, I only have summoning coming, so I'm still full of defended. Carnage might be good here. I'm very close to being able to kill though, so that should not be a problem. Yeah, Carnage does it. Come. All right, Sword Boomerang, Heavy Blade, Havoc. I think I'll skip this one because I already have enough cards. And then here I got Whetstone. I didn't get a single Elite out of the Deadly Events modifier, right? Which is unfortunate. Whetstone, I'll pick up, upgrade two random attacks. That's Clash and Drop, pick upgraded. And then just to be safe, I'll rest here again. Come. All right, Donun Deca. The artifact is going to be really annoying. Let me throw this first. Um, defending on turn one will be a challenge. Let's do Bloodletting. Okay. Shrogadov is pretty good. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. Another shrug it off. How lucky am I? All right. So then I can do uppercut or a thunderclap first, then uppercut. Okay. And then uh, infernal blade. Let me see what the warcry gives me. Clash. Yeah, let's put the seeing red back. I can do cleave and clash. Okay. Not a bad start. Carnage, barricade, pummel, barricade. The barricade is interesting, but might be difficult to play. I think I'll skip this one. It would help me, though, if I was able to play it, of course. 26. Um, let me do the seeing red, see what the finesse gives me. Two dual wields. Wow. Wow. Let me see if the attack potion gives me something good. Carnage, blood for blood, or rampage. I could do blood for blood. I don't think that's the most damage of this three, right? Yeah, let's do that. And then dual wield the blood for blood and dual wield it one more time. So that's 18 times 5, which is 19 damage. Should I have applied vulnerability? Would that have been enough? Oh, I kind of want to reload because I think I think it might have been enough if I had applied vulnerability on the backliner immediately. Yeah, let me see. I mean, this is not my uh, my final run anyway. My my first run. I mean, my score is not going to get recorded, so I think I'm okay reloading. Uh, let's do the explosive potion here. Shrug it off one. Shrug it off two. Yeah, that still stays the same. And then I did um, weak, then vulnerable. Yeah. So let's do weak, then vulnerable. Let's do uppercut first. 
Then need Thunderclap. That way the backlander will be vulnerable. Actually, I guess it won't be vulnerable next turn, which is fine. And then here I do Cleave, Warcry, and I can play the Clash, right? Yeah, that's what I did last time, all right? Um, here I didn't take anything, okay? All right, this is the bad hand, right? So let me throw the Fear Potion and do Finesse, Infernal Blade, or should I do... Let me do the Attack Potion first. That might change things up. Okay, it still gave me Blood for Blood and still... Oh, this time it gave me something else? All right, let me calculate this. So this would be 27 times uh, 6, right? Uh, wait, two extra copies plus another two, five. 27 times five is 135. Yeah, that's not enough. That's not enough. So I have to play the Iron Wave, and I probably have to do it 26. Yeah, I think I have to do it all the times that I can. So I'm going to duplicate the Iron Wave instead of the Bloodletting. Uh, or Blood for Blood, I mean. Okay. Oh, that's still not enough. I'm one short. No, no, never mind. I, that, that is enough. Okay, good. Corruption, Metallus says armament, let's take the Corruption, although I don't have that many skills. Okay. Another 26, another dual wield here. Let's do Jack of All Trades for an Apotheosis, which is very tempting. I am considering playing it here just to upgrade the Warcry to draw me two cards. Um, there, I don't think there's anything I can do, though. Well, I can try to duplicate the Clash and play the Rage with it, right? Let's get rid of the Pummel. Deal with the Clash... Oh no, I thought I had enough energy to play it one more time. The, oh, and now I can't play the Clashes. Okay, yeah, there's nothing I could have done there. Alright, yeah, I tried, I tried. Nothing I could have done. Mm, that's a bummer. Alright, fine. 32 incoming, let's do the Corruption. Uh, then I can do a free Shockwave that applies vulnerability to this one, which is great. Then do Dropkick, see what I get. Uh, Armaments is not useful because I already have played the Apotheosis. And then I can do Clash, okay. So now the goal is just to survive. All right, 32 incoming. All right, finally some free drop kicks. Let's do bloodletting, inflame, then play the drop kicks. Mm -hmm. And then um, I can do iron wave to defend a little. Um, let's see what the war cry gives me. Okay. Um, I will put the. Uh, actually, I need all the iron waves. So let's put the. Actually, uppercut would be useful for the weakness. So let's put the anger back. So clash, uppercut, um, iron wave. Another Clash and Iron Wave. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't need another Corruption for sure. Alright, so here let's do Dropkick, Blood for Blood, Anger, Thunderclap, and Pummel. Pummel's only 35 damage, which is not as much as I'd like it to be. But that should still be enough to kill very soon. 32, let's dual wield the... Uh, yeah, Pummel does more damage. Then Rage, play Pummel 1. Pummel 2. And then that's enough to kill. All right. No chance of really perfecting this one or the Act 1 boss. Not with my deck. I went for a very aggressive deck. 957. Yeah, that's not that great of a score, but it's fine. Only perfected... Oh, two of the three elites. Okay. Wait, did I perfect the Act 1 elite? I... Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. I perfected the sentries on a replay. Yeah, I got a little lucky with the potions. Got two collector bonuses. Only the Act 2 boss was perfected. And then I did get overkill thanks to the Demon Form, which I removed to get Popper and Lightspeed. But yeah, ultimately I missed... Um, I mean, even one more boss would have given me 1057. So that makes me think it's interesting that Vorpal got one. Oh no, yeah, Vorpal got one thousand sixty fifty-seven. So I wouldn't be surprised if Vorpal was able to perfect. Uh, but maybe, maybe got more collector bonuses as well. At least had exactly hundred points more. So that makes me think that Anti had a weird score with eleven fifty-three. So different RNG, two, uh, four points less, which means two fewer hallway fights. I wonder. I wonder if maybe with the different RNG, you can try to you you get lucky and get an lead in a question mark room. That would be that would definitely be an explanation. Yeah, because I, I only got three elites total. I didn't see any other elites. Let me scroll down to where I am at. Yeah, a bunch of people are, are at 982. And after that, it's 957. Oh, that's a rerun, right? On my first attempt, I died and ended up in, uh, yeah, 2,686th place with 267. Uh, 76, I mean. Yeah, fine, fine. It happens too. I think the second run was much more fun. It definitely not a way I would usually do a daily, just because with the clashes, it's very hard to perfect things. But I feel like the deck, the, the draft deck was sort of forcing me to do it, and I thought it was kind of fun. Which, which you know, sometimes you have to play for fun rather than for the score. Anyway, let's review the scores from yesterday. All right, yesterday was a defect run with the all-star modifier that gave you a bunch of what I would consider junk, including a chrysalis, which I did end up using a lot, but it was not very useful, as well as certain future and the minor modifiers, and it was just extremely difficult. Nobody who um, commented yesterday survived. I also didn't see any familiar names in the top 100, but what Kirkus did upon a second replay, so I also played it twice, right, and then I gave up, and then actually yesterday, as I was going around about my day, I was thinking, 
I mentioned yesterday that you were offered six unique curses. So you could have removed one. You could have skipped the, the regret at the beginning. And that might have allowed you to still get curses and still get a good decent score. And that's what Kirkus did on what he called his fifth attempt. So he also tried a few different things. And then at the end, uh, basically, yeah. So rejected the regret, as I should mention, with that strategy, Kirkus ended up with 1,078. You can check out his uh, screenshot in the comment from video from the video yesterday. Uh, it's a very impressive run. Also, impressive dedication to uh, try this many times. And I have to admit, if I had the time yesterday, which I didn't that many that much, if I had the time, I would have, I think, attempted it. Because it seems so unsatisfying to have a run where you just there's no way to, to make it to the end or to survive. But yeah, Kirkus made it work. So yeah, 1,078. Um, rejected or regret at the beginning and then still got all the other curses, including the two normality event and still removed one extra normality. So I ended up with five unique curses, but didn't go for Highlander or collector bonuses. Well, I, I guess he didn't go for uh, the Highlander modifier, but wasn't able to get any collector bonuses. Based on uh, the multiple attempts before, uh, Quirkus decided to go for a zero cost card deck, particularly with the claws, and then have a bunch of card draw with cool headed. And then that together with Shuriken allowed him to actually have some scaling, which is what I was really worried about against Dono Deca yesterday, because I didn't have any scaling and I don't think I would have been able to do this. But yeah, basically the claws, which get stronger every time you play them, together with a few supportive cards like All for One, Rebound, and Hologram, together with the Shuriken, did allow him to gain enough strength to actually finish the run. He actually not only finished a run was able to affect all the three bosses which is just amazing um only one elite though i uh, didn't go for Highlander as i mentioned and also wasn't able to get collector bonuses you can check out as i mentioned the screenshot that lists all the cards he had and um all the curses um but yeah very impressive run would have been seventh place and um yeah i wouldn't be surprised if i mean it seems hard to believe but yeah i i guess all these scores about that emerald of uh, 25 so they might be legit scores it just yeah blows my mind how someone would be able to do that Anyway, um, I guess I'm just going to scroll because I haven't actually scrolled through just to make sure that there are no familiar names to Tom 100 because, yeah, as I mentioned, everybody else died. All right, yeah, no familiar names here. Let me scroll up to my score. Oh, look at that. David has 10 points more than me. <laughs> David is back after a um, a few days off. Uh, he's back uh, streaming on Twitch and unfortunately had to start his uh, streaming with uh, yesterday's run, which is not that enjoyable, I think. Uh, so David died to the slavers. Very upset. Also died to the slavers, too, on Act 2. That was a difficult thing to get through. Um, so I, in my first attempt, um, I died to the Act 2 boss. I did make it to the boss, uh, but I hadn't been able to affect anything up until that point and only one elite and i did try to go for curses and i think that killed me the second attempt i got a slightly higher score of 517 there i died to the transient though on um x3 um and that one was also uh, really annoying i did get overkill there and was able to affect one of the bosses but yeah i wasn't able to didn't take curses and that didn't really save me panda got even higher with 666 points died to the act three uh, one of the act three elites uh, which was also annoying and uh, yeah that's pretty much it everybody else whose name I didn't see in the comments. I suspect just died and was too frustrated to comment yesterday. Anyway, yesterday was a better run. Today is much better. People did much better. So let me know in the comments what you did and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.